everyone, here's Christine of yesnomads.com and today Paul, who is behind the camera and I, we are here in California, North California we are at the Marshall Gold State Historic Park where you can do gold panning and where you can see some old historic building and now what we've learned today is how to do the gold pan this is so exciting and we actually found some gold Perhaps they made it a bit easier for us at the visitor center. And here at the visitor center, you can buy these gold pans, these paddocks. This one is a small one, this is good for beginners. It's like seven dollars or something. And so now I will show you how it's done. First of all, you go down deep into the sand, into the gravel, what you say, Paul. And you dig deep. Can you? I hope you can't see this. get as much dirt and well, now I'm not so deep at the moment but hopefully it's deep as possible and then you jiggle it around so the gold because gold is a very heavy metal or well, the head is it the heaviest metal it goes down the pan jiggle it around and then you go in the water a bit Is that okay, Paul? Mm -hmm. There's a special technique, Paul will zoom in later. I think I have a bit of a gold for you. <laughs> what is important to you is you can see here these lines. What is it called, Paul? Riffles. The riffles? Riffles. The riffles, yeah. And it's important that you hold it like this so you have the riffles in front of you so you can see them. And there the gold would sort of not wash off the step. So the stones and any other metals, they would wash off there. But the riffles, they would keep the gold in there. That's the idea that the riffles keep the gold in there. And then you will see the the more stones will you will see the sand it gets thicker there's less thick big stones in there and what is also important once you find some gold these little little tiny things if you're lucky then you have to get your finger very dry, very very dry and sort of pick it up and you have it on your finger and then they go and gave us this this little jug this little Vial. jar and basically you would take the top off let me just do it without some yeah. and you would have your gold on your finger on your dry finger put it on here and turn it over with some water so the water would wash yep. it off and the gold would fall into the... I found silver! Yeah. <laughs> so it'd be good big scoop dip from the bottom Oh, it's splashing up <laughs> Gently um, Okay, so we're shaking, so we're agitating the sand, we're getting the gold to go down to the very bottom. Yep. You have excess sand up the top, so what do we do with it? Yeah. I would kind of clean that up a little bit though, if I can see your pan. Okay. Make it two distinct steps though. So, yeah, so when we're shaking, well, you have the shaking part down, right? But, I would do, so when you want to get rid of that sand, tip the pan mm -hmm. in the water, and just, oops, I didn't do it. <laughs> there we go. Ah. See how I'm getting rid of sand that way? Yeah. Rather than, you know, you have, more chance of the riffles holding the gold back, less chance of the gold escaping mm -hmm. than you know doing this whole thing. So I would stick with that motion. But, I mean that looks exactly right. So. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Take some, take some patience. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> 1848. <laughs> this is fun. Oh my god. Oh, 
Look at it here. It's three yellow. Thank you. Okay, keep it seated. That's it. All right, so. You turn it upside down on your finger and then back again. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. See that? Mm -hmm.